Are you also questioning his motives? Do you feel like he was looking for an out in this fight? For sure, man. I, I, I question everything about that family. But this kid is 22, right? He's never accomplished anything himself. The only reason he's anything is because of his brother. And he's never actually had a real opponent. He's only been put in there with people who were meant to lose. I'm a scary guy to fight. The shit talk, the pressure, all of this, I think he cracked. He could probably turn up with broken ribs, a broken left hand, two left feet, he's, he's closed on back to front, and with the flu, and then still beat Jake Paul. That's how confident I am he can beat Jake Paul. Thank you very much. Don't pull out. And Tommy Fury backed out of the fight against him, which, by the way, didn't we see this fucking coming? Tommy, uh, it's a good thing you're beautiful. So, Tommy, you've been replaced, brother. Sorry, that's what happens when you fumble the bag, you bitch. But he's fight, fighting Tyron Woodley on December 18th. The guy fought last time. Didn't knock him out last time. This time he's going to leave, no doubt. December 18th, Tampa, going to be nuts. It's Jake Paul v. Tyron Woodley. You know, for the following week, thought, you know, so guys, I'm sure you've all seen and heard the news as to why I'm not fighting on December the 18th now. Just thought I'd come in here and tell you myself. Um, training camp couldn't have gone any better for me for the first week, two weeks. But then I contracted a bacterial chest infection, which led me to go to the gym and just not being able to breathe. You know, I was in my sparring sessions, pad work sessions, whatever it may be, just not being able to breathe and coughing up huge amounts of phlegm all the time. It led me to sleepless nights. And that went on for about four weeks because I had the mindset of I'm going to keep training, I'm going to get through this, I'm going to have the fight no matter what. And four weeks passed and we decided to have a sparring session and I took a little clip to the body and because my body was so weak due to the virus inside of me, I instantly knew something wasn't right. I was throwing up from the pain, I was doubled over. I literally got my bag and went straight to the hospital, straight for an MRI scan and I got the results back the same day and the results uncovered that I had a clean break in my rib. I'm going to insert the picture here so you can see for yourself and had multiple fractures. I still, you know, for the following week thought, do you know what, you'll be fine, I can fight. And then it really, you know, it took down, it took the doctor and my whole team to really say, listen, you've got a broken rib and multiple fractures here, like you can't fight. And even now sitting here filming this video, it hasn't really sank in that I'm not fighting. All my focus is on right now is getting a new fight date set um, and recovering. That's all I can do right now. I can't do anything else apart from get my body right as quickly as possible and look for a new fight date with Jake Paul. There is no other fight that I want out there. That's the fight that I want next. And like I said, guys, I'm just going to recover now and hopefully we can work out a new date for next year. Finally, guys, I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone who supported me throughout the whole training camp. Obviously, everyone's going to have their own opinions about the situation and what they think, but there is nothing when it comes down to it I can do about being medically unfit to fight. Thank you guys so much for the support and I'll see you very soon. Women, y'all are enigmas. I've had the most sweet, always, innocent girl. Always. Bro, what the f happens when that bedroom door <laughs> closes that this girl turns into a f vixen? Eat your heart out and your strap butt. you down and eat your ass. <laughs> what, do you, what do you bring to the table? The table? The You're like a tornado that hit for like four minutes. You know You're what like I think? Less. 30 seconds. You're like, I'm a flash flood. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? Jack Dirty. Jack? Jack Doherty. Jack the Ripper. Thank Jack, you. Jack the Ripper. Jack. I did a, I did a project on Jack. him for my, for my uh, English class. Project? Are yeah. you, are you still in school? Yeah, I go to public school. You go to school still? Yeah. School, bro. That's trying. crazy. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. And I want you to be honest with me. Yeah. How much money have you made from YouTube at 15 years old? Take a guess. I'll say higher or lower. Okay, great. Wow. Wow. You've been PR trained. You've been media trained. That's good, good man. Good um, man. If you bought a house, wh where do you live? New York. Okay. Hey, man, where, 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 where are you? Not in Long Island. It's, but the house isn't in Long Island. Where in Long Island? Well, where'd you buy the house, kid? Uh, I, I, in like Tennessee or something. I'm not sure. You bought Why? a house in Tennessee. Why? Randomly? Because that's where like the ROI is the highest. ROI? What, kid? Return on investment? What are you? Who are you? Yeah. What's your current CPM? Like seven. You got how does he know what that I is? I don't even know what that means, How do you bro? know? Who are you? All right, listen. No, leave it go. Half a million dollars. Higher. You've made more than this. Fifteen-year-old kid has made more than one hundred eighty-two thousand dollars. A little higher. Sources now. Two sources telling me that Tommy Fury is dropping out of the fight with Jake Paul. Yes, December eighteenth. I'm, I'm, I'm flying down there. My whole management company is having their Christmas party at this fight, and the whole thing is about to get canceled allegedly. This is what I'm hearing from two sources now. I also heard, get this, all right? 
Another boxer is taking his place, Tyron Woodley. This is what I'm hearing, people. This is what I'm hearing, people. Two sources. We'll find out what happens, but it's supposed to be all announced in a couple hours. So prepare. This is actually really interesting because I feel like he's doing a legitimate uh, call for help and his friends are just fucking laughing in his face. Yeah, it's true. Um, I'll just say it. I'm falling apart <laughs> from the inside out. I know on the outside it looks like uh, all is well and dandy. No, it doesn't. No, it's not. No, it doesn't. No, you just have to say my insides are good. starting to mirror my outsides. <laughs> my insides are starting to mirror my outsides. Mike is such a douche. I yeah, he doesn't seem like a good friend. At all. And Mike's sober too, isn't he? Like, yeah. You know. Well, his whole thing is like, his whole shtick is that he's like an addiction specialist. Right, he's in recovery and everything, and yeah. Catch it up. Yeah. <laughs> the gradual collapse you've been witnessing um, fr from the outside has now ruptured my insides. He has no spleen. My maid, <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying this. In Puerto Rico, my maid, my, my Puerto Rican assistant, uh, my Puerto Rican driver, my accountants back in America and my assistant Danny, my beloved Danny, for three and a half years of work together are all leaving at the same fucking time. Yeah, they did a huddle. I swear to God. They're like, come in, team. Come on in. Come on in. Hey, they probably did. fuck this guy. Am I right? Yeah, that, I mean, that just tells me that he is just such a horrible dude to work with mm -hmm. that they're all like, because especially in Puerto Rico, it's got to be a good job to work for like someone like Logan Paul. I mean, well paying, you would assume, right? I mean, perhaps. I don't know, but but yeah. perhaps. But like, um, that just tells me that he really is fucked. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Uh, Can't help but feel kind of bad for him in this clip. Exactly. Yeah. I will say <laughs> though, he doesn't when look... he's surrounded by such horrible friends, <laughs> right? They're just like laughing. He has no idea, no idea what he's getting himself into. This is his first time under the big lights on the big stage, and he's gonna crack under pressure. Come on, shout out to the homeless kid. Are you a pussy or what? What the? What the? What the fuck? Oh. You suck. You suck. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. It's with a girl, we were in my room. What were you guys up to? And uh, <laughs> all of a sudden I hear a pop, 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 come from outside. While I'm on the phone with the cops telling them I think like there's an armed person outside. Close range in the house. Now I'm like, damn, this is it, huh? Ten minutes later, we hear a knock on the door and it's Jacob, the Swedish kid. I'm like, Jacob, bro. Did you hear gunshots? He goes, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just got my new uh, CO2 pistol. I go, bro, the f cops are on their way. If the cops were like, let's open the door, it's LAPD. Kick the door open. Jacob comes out, he's like, what is the problem? It <laughs> <laughs> turns into a f sprinkler. We need to talk about Aries men and why Logan Paul is so charming. He has pulled one of my favorite YouTubers, podcast hosts, model, and artists. Who gave him the power and charisma to be a boxer, animal lover, rich?